Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did not, but I had uh, a little, little girl with a very high fever to take care of. Oh, it's the teething, and I know it, but I get as nervous every time when she gets really high fever. Um, fortunately, you know, I have three doctors really, really close to me. <laughs> my sister is an emergency doctor and my sister-in-law is a doctor and one of my best friends is a doctor. So uh, I have people to call <laughs> when I get scared as uh, so I'm very, very grateful for that. And, um, and it's, yeah, it's fantastic in so many ways. Um, she is feeling better and she's drawling, you know, so much. So God knows, I know that it's it's the teeth now because it's always like that. When they get the teeth, it's like an ocean coming out of their mouth. Um, so I am not as worried anymore. It always just, you know, I think I'm, I think becoming a mother is like the peaceful time is over. <laughs> You're always gonna worry about something. Uh, but um, she seems to be much better. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm also very grateful grateful for you know the network I have with um, with my doctors, <laughs> with um, everyone around me that is so resourceful and helpful. And um, I remember when I got into my program of recovery, I tried to do everything on my own, and then I learned that you know where I'm not the expert, I can always ask for help because I can definitely, you know, I'm trying to help people as much as I can with the resources and knowledge that I have. And, um, and I also ask for help when I lack that uh, and when other people are more competent than I am in something. And I think it's such a beautiful way of sharing, you know, life. And I, I think, because I love it, I think people want to help, you know, so, my experience is that I, when I ask anyone for help with something they're really good at, we build a stronger, you know, um, relationship and network and uh, um, a trust. And I think if you never do that, you kind of uh, build a little bit of a wall around you where you're untouchable and also not, you know, in that close relationship with other people. So I highly, highly suggest that you ask for help and that you offer help. Um, I'm really trying to do that as much as I can. And I think for, you know, in, in my program of recovery, the 12th step is to, to give forward what you got. And I think I learned so much from that because there's nothing as rewarding as, as passing, you know, recovery on to someone else. And, and when I implemented that into, you know, helping others too, I find it enormously rewarding. I had this experience this summer when we kind of very quickly, you know, decided to have an au pair and, um, and um, we had this girl out and uh, I paid for a ticket. We had no contracts, signed nothing, you know, uh, and I was like taking a leap again. I was like, if I lose this money, it's worth it because at least I'm helping someone who's in need. And um, now we have the best help in the world. She's magical and I'm so, so grateful for her. And we have a beautiful relationship of trust too, uh, because, you know, she kind of saw who I am when I did that for her. And, uh, and um, from that, you know, we could start off in a very good trusting way. Um, so I highly encourage that and um, you know take a leap of faith sometimes it's beautiful and sometimes you lose and that's okay too then you grieve a little and you get over it and you move on with your life so let me let's do some yoga get some on your sitting bones and straighten your back up Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third you're looking in.
going to start taking control over our breath on the inhalation of your belly firmly. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale, two stars. Very good job. We're gonna do the hip roll. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Beautiful. We are going to come to our fourth and do the cat and the cow. So place your hands straight underneath your uh, shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips on the inhalation, come forward with your belly, look halfway at the seat. Exit, come up and drag your belly button towards the spine. I'm going to do the stretch up of the arm. So on the inhalation, come up and on the exhalation, down. Inhale. Exhale. This is great if you work a lot in front of a computer. Down. We're going to do the same on the other side. And then I want to talk to you about the back camps. There's a documentary out on Netflix now that I've been watching two episodes of, and I am just in 
amazed with them both. I never really thought much about them um, because I'd never been into football and I wasn't like a big fan of the Spice Girls. But after watching this documentary, I am so impressed with them both and the pressure that they've been under and what people have done to them. Um, just want to share them on go, David and Victoria, with family, because I'm sure it's not very easy to be their children either. And um, I have actually a really funny story about David Beckham. <laughs> uh, I have a tattoo, I'm going to show it to you. I have a tattoo that I did when I lived in LA um, a little mustache, it's like worn out now. But I did it kind of late in one of the best tattoo studios in LA. And um, when it was done, David Beckham comes out. He just got like something tattooed, I don't know what it was. Just when my tattoo is done, so I'm like, hey David, look at this. So he's like the first person on earth that saw my tattoo. <laughs> And now, after watching this documentary, I'm really happy that that happened. Um, before, I didn't really care because I, I just didn't care much about the Beckhams. But now I, I really want to cherish them on and, uh, and uh, you know, give them my full on, you know, love for having been so, so strong. Together and uh, and I think for everyone in humanity, I think it's very awful, you know, what press and like jealousy can do with us humans. So go, David and Victoria, and um, shame on all the trolls, you know. No matter what, I I hate bullying. I hate uh, you know. When someone is enormously talented, as you know, David uh, has been in football, and then you know does one mistake, how how that can turn on someone, and what enormous pressure that is on on people, you know, generally. Um, so I kindly ask each and every one of you to be kind to each other and to everyone you meet. Kindness is. Let's do some meditation. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten up your back. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There's nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Panjataya 
Klishta, Klishta. Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're going to finish this class together with Trishanti. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale. Shanti 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 Place your palms to your forehead to this to your mouth for you to speak truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.